Hi, I'm Barry Mulholland, and I'm playing Sigmund Freud in Ensemble Theatre Cincinnati's production of Freud's Last Session. I think everybody uh, knows something about Sigmund Freud. He's the father of uh, psychoanalysis. He wrote uh, many books. He was very prolific as a writer. Um, uh, as this play occurs, he's at the end of his life. Um, in Freud's Last Session, He's only about two weeks away from committing suicide. The play takes place on the eve, well, actually on the day that World War II is declared in Europe. And he's in a lot of physical pain. Uh, maybe a lot of people don't know how much physical distress he was in late in his life. He had oral cancer, and he had uh, his upper jaw and palate removed. And his first operation was kind of botched. And as a result, there were a lot of successive operations that needed to be done and there were complications and infections through the rest of his life. So the last 15 to 20 years of his life he was in uh, great physical distress, but he was still pretty prolific and he still uh, was pretty productive. Um, uh, Lewis in the play takes him to task for contemplating suicide. I kind of give him some style points for hanging in there as long as he did with the pain he was in. Anyway, so he's w one of the most prolific, uh, one of the most uh, influential thinkers of the of the 20th century with his uh, with work in psychoanalysis and also he wrote a great deal on uh, on social and philosophical and cultural matters. Freud hasn't been depicted on stage very often. I, I've never seen a play about him. When you play a, a heavy character role like this, um, even when you begin to think that you're getting it down and, hey, I, I may not stink too bad in this, at the same time there's this little voice inside that's going, yeah, but you're just acting your little head off, aren't you? But once the play starts, it's so artfully written that you're not thinking, um, oh my God, I'm playing Sigmund Freud. You're just thinking about the argument. You're thinking about stating it forcefully and persuasively and, and winning the damn thing. One of the things that I like so much about it is that it isn't just a presentation of two opposing points of view. You also see the things that shaped those points of view because during the course of the play, some layers are stripped away, some things are revealed about the characters so that you see why they each believe what they believe. You see the, 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 the family influences, you get a hint of the cultural influences. Most importantly, you see the personal experiences that shaped those points of view. So by the end of the play, um, even though they each still remain pretty firm in their beliefs, um, they've gained a, a respect for and an appreciation of the things that shaped those view. And as a result, there's a real bond that uh, uh, develops between the two of them. And it's not just an intellectual respect, it's a, it's a bond of genuine affection. Uh, it's a very civil discourse, um, which is not to say that tempers don't flare and there are sharp uh, conflicts, but there's a great deal of, of, of humor in the play as well. It's, it's not a play that would even presume to provide the answers. I think it's an interesting discussion, and I think that's the thing that I, I hope most, is that it will prompt discussion, um, and hopefully in a <laughs> civil manner. So, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll fall in love.